I just had a really good dinner. Sometimes I get worried about our future. We have so many challenges. We have competitors. We have financial issues. And then I got to eat dinner tonight with four young men who are the future of our organization. And I got optimistic again. Um, their spouses and friends. Um, be truthful, I don't know how we pick a winner because any of these young four men could get this award. Um, I tried to explain to one of the folks at the table how many tens of thousands of people there are who participate in coaching male competitive teams. It's truly amazing when you think about it. The four gentlemen here tonight are the best of our best, and that in, in itself is a reward. The reward is that they are the leaders of our organization in the future, and that may, really makes me optimistic. So my job is to uh, award the United States Youth Soccer Competitive Coach of the Year Award for the men's side. And again, we recognize here a coach for his or her coaching activities, sportsmanship, player development, personal coaching development, and what it says here is citizenship, and what I would substitute is character, because that's what we are recognizing tonight is character and young people who are teaching our children. I'd like to call forward uh, the nominees at the, or the regional winners and the nominees at this time, and I won't hurt you as you come up. <laughs> From Region 1, Pete Donite. In 2010, Pete's under-15 boys team played in the Region 1 championship finals, and the team is currently competing in the National League. Uh, Pete is responsible for Beachside, Connecticut's goalkeeping, education, development, and training. So congratulations to you. Mark McKelligut. Mark, if you would come forward from Region 2. Within the National Championship Series as a coach, Pete has four state titles. He's coached at regionals six times and has won one national championship in 2010 with the under-14 boys Eclipse Select. He has coached in Illinois' U.S. Soccer ODP, including the 1991 boys to the ODP championship. So congratulations to you. From Region 3, someone I've known since he was a little boy, wasn't that long ago. Chris Robinson. Chris, if you'd come forward. Chris is a product of our program, United States Youth Soccer System. He won, his teams won state four championships before playing in college and later as a professional um, in a number of teams um, in the A-League. Uh, Chris has been coaching with U.S. Youth Soccer since 2004 and coaches four teams in my home association, Greensboro Youth Soccer. Congratulations, Chris. <laughs> Oliver Vies from Region 4. There you go. Oliver brought his fans. Oliver joined West Coast Football Club in 1997 when the club began. He serves as the director of the boys program as well as the head coach of the under-14 boys team that won the U.S. Youth Soccer National Championship in 2009. So congratulations to Oliver. Before I announce the winner and give him a damn broken uh, trophy, I want you to look at these folks. These are our leaders of the future, folks, and we ought to be very, very proud of them. And the boys competitive coach of the year award goes to, I'm glad he's, um, we have two goalkeepers, so I'm not signaling anything here, but the winner is a goalkeeper, and I want to congratulate him, Pete Donai. It's almost all in one piece here, too, so. Um, uh, this is, uh, this is unbelievable. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank, uh, at U.S. Youth Soccer for this great award. Um, all the all the fellow coaches out there that do you know do what they do, and uh, work with the game that they love. I'd like to thank Connecticut Junior Soccer Association, um, Kathy Zoled and Sue Schultz specifically for uh, you know putting my name in this here, um, and the rest of the crew over there. Um, and definitely, uh, I want to thank. Uh, um, Mickey Kites for the Beachside Soccer Organization, who you know gave me an opportunity back in 2001, and 
um, you know, it's definitely been, you know, the basis and, you know, I've learned so much uh, from being at this club here. And I definitely I want to thank my wife, um, Heather, who's back in Connecticut right now, and um, my one-year-old son who just had a birthday uh, two days ago. I'm coming home tomorrow at like six in the morning, and I can't wait to see you guys right here. So thank you very much. Uh,